today we are going to see how to approximate area of a circle uh, so let's start in schools in classes we um, see that area of a circle is pi r square of of a circle of radius r but we never see how to how do we reach that formula we only see formula and never the intuition behind it how it came so i'm going to explain the intuition behind it and how do we get the area of a circle so let's start with the polygon uh, all of us have seen polygons in school in uh, life so a regular polygon is a polygon whose all sides and all angles are equal here we also see pictures like uh, equilateral triangle a square with four sides and pentagon with five sides and so on we can increase sides and we get regular polygons what are the properties uh, they have uh, all sides have same length and all angles are same so uh, these are nice shapes uh, now the next concept is the center of a polygon which is very easy to construct so the center of a polygon is a point which is at equal distance from each vertex uh, we see here the centers of triangle quadrilateral all centers how to construct it's very easy so uh, now we we want to make an observation first so we have a equilateral triangle here this is the center of the triangle c and we call this uh, this uh, length r now i want to calculate the area of the triangle the big triangle so we see that okay there are three small triangles in uh, that cover the full triangle so the area of the triangle is three times the area of the smaller triangle which is so the base is a height is r so this is half ar this we know the area of a triangle is half uh, times base uh, times the height so so we see that okay if i write it uh, in other uh, another way so i can write it as 3a divided by 2r times r square and what is 3a 3a is actually the parameter of uh, the triangle so this is the sum of all three sides so uh, so we see that the area of uh, a triangle is parameter divided by 2r 2r is this uh, so r is the distance of c and the middle uh, c from the middle point of a side you can take any side it's the same because we are in uh, the case of equilateral triangle so okay this is a nice observation uh, what about if i take a square or a bigger uh, uh, polygon so we see that even if i take a square if i calculate the area i can do the same thing so i can divide the square in four little triangles like uh, like the same case as triangle so with base a and height r so we have this area of a square is four times half ar and then i can write it again like this and i can see that area of a square is again perimeter because now the square has perimeter 4a so i add uh, all the sides then i get 4a so area of a uh, square is perimeter divided by 2r times r square it's the same for the square also so now we see okay i can do this with for any polygon with any number of uh, uh, sides so okay so if i have uh, an n polygon which is like n gon uh, with n sides then i can divide it into n smaller triangles with base a and height r so the area would be n times half of ar i can write it as uh, theta r square where theta is perimeter divided by 2r this is and i want to mention here that this is the first definition of pi so what is pi pi is parameter of a circle divided by the diameter so 
this is uh, this is something like pi some constant something like pi uh, and we have chosen the right uh, definition of diameter for angon so it's a nice activity if uh, you don't need to need any mathematics or anything for that so if you see if you take a triangle and if you compute theta you can uh, you, you take an equilateral triangle you can just draw on a page and you can compute measure with a scale the r and you can compute theta and uh, you you will see that it will approximate 5.2 if you take a square you will get 4 if you take a pentagon you will get 3.65 it's decreasing when i am increasing the number of sides the uh, theta value of theta is decreasing so uh, okay so when i increase n then we see that polygon is actually looking like a circle so you can see in this picture that okay when i have a triangle it's very different from a, a circle but when i see this take a 100 gon which has 100 sides it's approximately a circle like i mean if i see it from far away i can't even tell that it's a polygon not a circle so it's very close to a circle so when uh, when i increase n the number of sides of uh, uh, the polygon then this theta which was defined as parameter divided by two times the radius is actually pi this is the definition of pi so it is tending to pi and the area of circle is that is why pi r square like it's not specific to a circle even for any angon you have this formula it's just another constant for uh, uh, any angon you have another constant instead of pi which is approximating to pi when you increase uh, the number of sides okay so this was one method to how we get to this formula pi r square for the area i want to show you another interesting trick uh, to calculate the area of a circle uh, so if i give you uh, a circle then just cut it into um, draw these triangles this little triangles and uh, in even even number of triangles we want to draw and now you have to cut them and arrange them into a rect rectangle like shape i can't say it is exactly rectangle because the top of it is it, there is still a little bit curvy the rectangle should be straight so this height we know is r because it's this the radius this thing because it's half of the half of the perimeter it is pi r and we know that the area of a rectangle is pi r square so if uh, is the area of a rectangle is the base times height that is pi r times r and it is pi r square we see that uh, if we increase the number of these little triangles we will get very close to uh, very very close to pi r square the exact result so we have seen uh, today how to obtain the formula for area of a circle and it is so interesting to derive formulas instead of mugging them up so i will encourage you all to derive formulas when you see any interesting formula happy pi day and thank you so much